Sudan's armed forces have overthrown and arrested President Omar El Bashir after months of protests against his 30-year rule. <laughs> According to a statement read on state TV by Defense Minister General Awad Ibn Auf, Bashir had been taken to a safe place and the army had formed a military-led transitional government which will rule for two years. A transitional period of two years, the armed forces will take power with a representation of the people to pave the way for the Sudanese people to live in dignity. And here I declare in my capacity as the Defense Minister, Chairman of the Supreme Committee to get rid of this regime and to arrest the head of the regime in a safe place. General Alf also declared a three-month state of emergency and the suspension of the country's constitution as well as the closure of Sudan's airspace and border crossings until further notice. All of Sudan's government institutions, including the National Assembly and National Council of Ministers, have also been dissolved. Bashir's overthrow comes against the backdrop of a sixth successive day of anti-government protests outside Sudan's army headquarters in the capital Khartoum. Demonstrators had staged a mass sitting outside the complex to call for the army to support their bid to see Bashir peacefully removed from power. However, some protesters have rejected the army's takeover and they have vowed to remain on the streets. And, uh, I, I mean, uh, the people are not happy, but what happened is, 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 is really uh, a really big matter because, you know, Bashir is the president who stayed in power for 30 years and overthrowing him. Uh, because of because of the protection of the people for, for, uh, and the people who think that this for four months, uh, I, I, I do think that this is, this is a big matter. And, and you know, one of the main one of the main uh, demands of the people is democracy. So it, okay. it's disappointed for the protesters, and now uh, they are protesting again, and uh, they are now insisting to stay in the square of the city in front of the uh, uh, army headquarters. At, at, at the moment, I talk to you, now the thousands of people are actually still sitting, uh, uh, still sitting in front of the army HQ. Protests against Bashir, who took power in 1989, started in December, over rising bread prices, but quickly morphed into broader calls for him to step down. Critics have accused Bashir of mismanaging Sudan's economy, resulting in high food prices, regular fuel shortages and widespread car shortages. The downfall of Bashir follows the toppling this month of Algerian President Abdelaziz Bouteflika, also following mass protests after three decades in power.